Good evening to you. I'm Helen Daly. Baby Prince George has finally joined the firm. The youngest member of the royal family has completed his first official engagement. That was a play date with 10 Wellington babies. Mum and Dad were on hand, of course, to guide him in what will become a staple, no doubt, of his public life, the staged media opportunity. Dressed in navy blue and white, Prince George played with the tots all around eight months old under grand chandeliers in Government House. The event, organised by Plunkett, culminated with playtime on the lush carpet. The babies exploring a collection of toys as their doting parents looked on. They certainly look like they're having fun. Well, Sky News reporter Natasha Smith is following the Royal Tour and she joins us now from Central Wellington. Natasha, this was the second of only two opportunities to get a glimpse of the little prince in New Zealand. Yes, Helen, this really was a much-anticipated event and we are being told not to expect to see the baby prince again while he is in New Zealand. Uh, today, George, though, was like any other baby except this playdate will be shared around the world. His parents know the art of monitoring their every move in public, but baby George in blue overalls doesn't appear to have learnt that skill, making him an excellent icebreaker. <laughs> Baby George later extended a hand of friendship to a New Zealand baby, the first of millions of handshakes in a life of public service. And they are very, um, they are very sweet couple. Uh, yeah, they are very uh, cute, especially their son, Prince George. Ten families had been selected by Plunkett for the afternoon tea at Government House. Like the royal couple, the parents are all first-timers, hand-picked to illustrate diversity. Among them, a single mother and a gay couple raising a baby girl. I think the Duke and Duchess are lovely first-time parents uh, and I think as first-time parents uh, in many ways they're in the same uh, boat as, as, as all of us who are trying to get used to it. So uh, it was just very good to have a relaxed time and share some of the support that we take for granted in New Zealand through Plunkett. The parents swapped stories with the royals about their journey over the last nine months, the sleepless nights and all the highs and lows of parenthood. Well, we talked about uh, George getting over his jet lag. Um, we're taking Lucas over to Europe uh, in about a month, so we're getting some tips off yeah. Prince William, and he was quite helpful. Meanwhile, the royal couple's visit is causing a spike in interest from British holidaymakers. One popular website has seen a 153% increase in New Zealand searches since the Cambridges touched down in Wellington on Monday afternoon. And though we probably won't see the baby prince again, Kate and Wills are tomorrow off to Blenheim for the day. And in Seymour Square, there will be the first real opportunity for the public to catch a glimpse of Kate and Wills up close. Thanks very much, Natasha.